Right, ready? Keep that tight. The bright green paint being carefully applied to these sheep's horns is not part of a dazzling new makeover. But in a way, it is designed to help them stand out from the crowd. This is just one method used by Dartmoor farmer Neil Cole to deter thieves and make his prized livestock too colourful to handle. We've been doing it for a few years now. If you put marking on the wool, somebody could shear them, mark's gone. By doing it on the horns, they can't take it off. It's there for most of their life. And if anybody sees it, certainly around here locally, all the local farmers know that they're my sheep. These breeding ewes are worth between 100 and 120 pounds each. And Neil says the cost of living crisis is threatening his livelihood. They're becoming a real, you know, easy target for people to steal as food prices go up. We can't put padlocks and chains on every single fence and gate on the farm. It's just not practical. Last year, rural crime is estimated to have cost farmers in Devon and Cornwall around £460,000. In Dorset, that figure was 480000 and in Somerset, an eye-watering 930000 The good news is these figures are all down from the previous year, but insurer NFU Mutual believes thieves are now making up for lost time as the pandemic comes to an end. We've seen a 18% reduction in rural crime in the southwest last year, but we are concerned that there will be an increase in rural crime as we come out of lockdown and return to normality. We are seeing an increase in livestock thefts, um, but we're also seeing a number of agricultural vehicle thefts with uh, the impacts of increased costs of parts. It's really important that farmers work together with the police, or the police work with farmers and the wider community, simply because they are our eyes and ears, and also some of the crime prevention solutions we come up with may not practically work. And it's important that the farmers get to see an array of layered security measures for their farms uh, and, and can advise us what works and what doesn't work. There is some simple measures, for example, taking keys out of quad bikes when they're left unattended. Other things like locking gates and using property marking, because if something does go missing, it's not marked, it's very difficult for them, us to identify its, its own property and deal with the offender and get it back to them. The clear message to any would-be criminals targeting the region's farms the police are making this a top priority, and you are being watched. Sam Blackledge, ITV News, on Dartmoor.